Hello everyone, welcome to this Snake and Ladder series in Java. This is the fourth episode of this series and we are, sorry, third episode of the series and we are gonna do the boat class. The f- last class remaining in this package for us to do and like kind of the master class. So we can start with it. I, this is quite a big class when compared to the other classes but it's all right so we can we can make this final and yeah we should do the same for board utils as well final class board utils no one should just extend the Extend the subclass, yeah, like mix both to the super class and modify everything here. We don't want that that to happen. And we can give a constructor. This, but before that, we must initialize a few attributes. So yeah, private final map integer and tile so that, it, so that it's easier to refer to the tile by calling the integer and we can name it board map is equal to a new hash map integer and tile done Mm, we must import both both hash map mm, board map is not used it's okay we'll use it later and again a public public final list of snakes we need that snakes snakes is equal to a new array list playlist snake snake yeah and we must import them as well import it I didn't import list right and we have to import snake We can full screen. And what are the attributes? Yeah, ladder, ladders, final. I make it final because I don't want anyone to modify it. Ladder, ladders is equal to a new um, array list. Ladders, ladder. And we have to import that as well. So what else do we need? Mm, yeah, we need a number of tiles. A public static final int num of tiles is equal to 100. And yeah, we need a public static final int snake head coordinates this is an array and this consists of all the snakes tile on heads coordinates which are like I've got the list here so this is type this 17 54, 62, 64, and 87, 92, 95, 98, 87, 92, 95, and 98. I've noted down this list before, so I'm just copying this. And again, a public, public static. Final int 
we are against snake snake tail coordinates okay. snake tail coordinates is equal to and yeah all the snakes tails coordinates which are 7 34 90 19 this isn't an ascending order because I have to make it like 7 to 17 34 to 54 like that 19 60 and 36 73 75 and 79 these are the corresponding heads and tails coordinates of snakes and in the same one thing for ladder copy this to here mm. Ladder head coordinates, ladder coordinates, and that just equals to 38, 38, 14, mm, 31, mm, 42, 84, 67, 42, 84, 67, and what else? Mm. 91 and 99 yeah 91 and 99 good and kind of the same thing these are just something like an info dump like initializing everything tail coordinates and they are 149 and 80 51 72 and 80 now these 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all right and next we can give a public static final int again static final int what now number of snakes number of snakes currently they are equal number of snakes and number of ladders are equal but we we don't want to hard code them so that whenever we change the length of this array this number of snakes will be changed as well head coordinates dot length and the same thing for ladders ladder head coordinates ladder head coordinates dot length number of ladders hmm. number of ladders that should be good we can go on to the constructor which we can give a public board mm, and we don't need any arguments here and, uh, we are gonna give a loop controller in case this is just an in case that in case the snake and ladders length like the number of snakes and number of ladders aren't equal and this can be the higher one like if number of snakes is greater than number of ladders then we want the loop to loop until the number of snakes i'll get to this in a while so i'll just give number of snakes is greater than equal to number of ladders ladders question mark mm, and yeah number of snakes 
Let's make else number of ladders. Ladders. Done. All right. And next we can give a for loop. For. Mm, I'm not using the for each because I want to. Like what I'm going to do in this for loop is basically determine the length of snakes and ladders. That is, for example, 17 and 7. This first snake's length is 10. And I'll use a traditional one because I want to do it. Use the i for both snakes and ladders. Int i is equal to 0. i is less than mm, loop controller. We initialize for this purpose only. And i plus plus so good then we can just give if i is less than number of snakes number of snakes then we can give i want this to be here what am i doing i want this to be here we can give or we don't even need the curly braces actually. It's just a one liner. And we need to initialize a few more arrays. A public static final int. What are they? Snake lengths. There is the lengths of the snakes. Snake lengths. Mm. Is equal to new new int and we can give number of snakes snakes we can paste it here cut it and paste it down the same for ladder Ladder lens ladder number of ladders. Yeah, good. Uh, if i is less than number of snakes, we can give snake lens i so i is equal to snake head coordinates. Units i minus snake tail coordinates i hope you understand this this is just that for example uh, this loop controller is the larger number of the two right if number of snakes is larger than number of ladders then it should be number of snakes else it should be number of ladders so sometimes the loop controller might be higher than number of snakes so it will throw an array index out of bounds exception we don't want that to happen so we're checking whether i is less than number of snakes and then giving this snake lens mm, and the same for number of ladders i is less than number of ladders Actually. Mm. Yes, sorry, ladder lens i equal i equals to snake head coordinates ladder head coordinates sorry that is just a typo minus ladder tail coordinates coordinates i so this is correct we aren't hard coding the snake lens and ladder lens like just uh, manually subtracting the lens or using a calculator and initializing it once declared we aren't doing like that so uh, if we do like that and for example we change this to one 
then we have to change the snake lens first in a zeroth index as well so that's not the one gonna happen that's gonna happen we want this to get changed whenever this is changed all right good usually they say keep the logic out of the constructors but i'm violating that because i want these everything in this 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 block to be executed every time this is initialized and this is just initializing initializing the lens of snake and ladders mm. and the next one will be board building each time the construct a uh, new board object is created the board should start getting build built and we can it's another follow and we can give a for int i equals zero i is less than equal to we can give number of tiles tiles plus five i'm adding this i'm adding five to this number of tiles so that there's still room if the player rolls more than 100 for example he's at 99 and he rolls five then it'll be on 104 that should get allowed we don't want to put any extra effort we can just make that valid something that is in the board and not out of the board mm, what is it showing now oh okay num of tiles and we can just give a tile a dummy object a tile e equals new tile and yeah it asks the tile coordinate right that we should give i yeah that's the tile coordinate and we must create a new method first we can give board map dot put put uh, i and e that is this i the integer and e which is the current tile but this is this is just good for now but we don't want to do plainly this because we have to check whether uh, e has a snake or ladder which we can do in the next video goodbye and thanks